In this Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can move an SVG after you've inserted it. Sometimes it can be a real pain that you can't move something after you've placed it. So why is that? Here I have two sketches that I've imported. One here at the top that's not fully constrained. This is an imported DXF. The nice thing about DXF files is you can import them at scale. So if you know the units of the original DXF file, you can import it and it'll be exactly correct. If I right click on this, edit sketch, I can select these pieces and I can press M and I can move them around, which is great. But here I have the same profile brought in as an SVG. Notice that it's also not the correct size because you have to scale an SVG how you want. But also this sketch is locked down. If I go edit sketch, I, can't, I can select these things and if I press M, suddenly there's no move controls. The move copy comes out. The move copy comes up, but it's grayed out. Why can't you move an SVG in Fusion? The reason is because by default, an SVG comes in fixed. So if you highlight it all, notice that the padlock is there. Just highlight everything, click the padlock, then you can highlight and move the SVG as you wish. This is great if you need to position artwork that you didn't get perfectly positioned right when you brought it in or if you need to change a design, you can do it this way. If you don't want this to move again, you can just select everything, then click the padlock, and you're back to these green lines, and you have fixed geometry for your SVG. So now you know how to fix an SVG that won't move in Fusion. You just unlock it, and then you can move any SVG after import in Fusion 360.